And now, let's take a look at this year's Chinese culture camp. The sights and sounds of Taiwanese music, dance, and athletics fill Union High School's auditorium as friends and family gather to watch a special performance. Tonight is a culmination of two weeks of Chinese Culture Camp, a cultural exchange program that brings elementary and middle school students from Taiwan to three schools in the Evergreen District. The 21 Taiwanese students are here as cultural ambassadors of sorts, teaching Chinese traditions to students from Shehela Middle School, Columbia Valley, and Hearthwood Elementaries, while getting a chance to see what it's like to be a student in America. Evergreen students sign up for the free camps and spend one hour every day after school with the Taiwanese students, learning the Chinese yo-yo, calligraphy, kung fu, Chinese instruments, and dance. Heather Shenevert says the simple act of playing basketball brings the kids together. I think a lot of our students, and I think a lot of the Taiwanese kids, are surprised at how similar they are, how they like to play the same things. Basketball seems to be something that really joins the boys together. Basketball is very popular in Taiwan, and I think the kids are quite surprised sometimes that it's a popular sport. It, it crosses the cultures. Which is exactly the idea behind the exchange, to promote learning and understanding of cultures from around the world. Samuel Billick says he is amazed at how much the Taiwanese students know about America and how much they have in common. I think it's pretty cool how they know all the stuff that's going on here. People are the same, but they're just different cultures and d different, like, they, they just do different stuff. The exchange program, now in its seventh year, is sponsored by a Taiwanese philanthropic organization called the King Car Education Foundation and has proved to be extremely popular with the Evergreen students. One, two, three, four. Angela, a Taiwanese seventh grader, says she has enjoyed teaching dance and learning American culture. It's good to, like, go to exchange that they will teach me something, I'll teach them something too. Sammy says although some of the American students may never get to visit Taiwan, they can still learn what the culture is like. We can teach American Taiwanese things and, yeah, and they can't know. Because maybe they will not come to Taiwan, yeah, but they, they can know. Adam Wallace, Shehela associate principal, says although the visit is short, what the students take away from it will last a lifetime. It's really a, 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 a lifelong experience as far as, as far as I know some of these relationships that these students are forming with each other are going to um, last even after the time that they leave. As the Taiwanese kids prepare to go home, it's clear that all of the students have learned from this experience and have contributed to each other's understanding of another culture. I think it's a good idea because it can show other kids how, how different it is in other places. It's not all the same. I very enjoy to talk with them and share our um, cultures. I like hear um, friend and hear, hear free and hear so friendly. <laughs> I like here. It's funny that I never come to this country and now I come to and I wanted to come to again and again and again.